referee position. Okay, so this is what I love. We do this every day. Um, I'm a big hip fights guy. When I'm wrestling on the bottom, for my own personal wrestling, I stand up. I stand up, okay? If I don't get a stand up, I either do a shoulder roll or a hip hops. And I put the skills together, okay? So I, I really I really believe in this stuff and it worked for my wrestling. And I didn't do much other than stand up and shoulder roll. But I didn't need a lot more skill because I was so good at those. I really do believe in get awesome at what you're gonna do. You cannot do all of wrestling, okay? There's just no way. It's like you want to learn every move in martial arts. Think about that. That's a ridiculous statement, right? But what you got to do is get so good at what you do and believe in what you do that nobody can stop it, okay? And if they stop your best thing, you've got two or three other things you can go to that are almost just as good, okay? But you don't need to learn every single move. Okay, so again, hip icing I think is one of the moves that you need to learn because this leads into a bunch of other stuff. So a hip ice, just go ahead, hip ice, go. Okay, so it's kind of like a sit out, but you're just flipping your hips out. You've already done a hip ice, because what we did on the wall, this is a hip ice. When we stand up and we're here, that is a hip ice, okay? Or a better name for it is a back step. A back step, okay? Um, back step is one of our seven basic skills. So we'll go back down again, he's gonna go left, right, hip ice. Step up, step out. So go slow right now, so up, out. Now he's in a crab walk position, leg goes under, and he goes back to his knees. Okay, up, out, under. Up, out, under. Same premise where you're learning how to get his leg out. Okay, okay, but you're learning how to turn your hips around. Again, up, out, under. Okay, then you can do it with the crab walk where you run your feet, up, out, run your feet, and he flips. So there's a bunch of different types of hip ice we can do. Let's just do the basic one first. So get referee's position. I'll walk you through it. So again, you're gonna go both sides, okay? Get up. So step up. Step up with the leg. Go ahead, step up. Now when you go step out, just like your uh, crab walk or like your sit out, but you're gonna stay on your feet in your hand, you're gonna go to a crab walk position. So go, right here. Okay, now the same foot that you stepped up with, that's the foot that most go under. You guys all look pretty good right now because your head's up and your back's straight. None of you are doing this. This is not good. You want to be here. Okay, you want to be here. Okay, so now he takes the foot and he shoots it underneath his other leg. All the way straight. Now look how your top knee is turned. It's telling you which direction to go. Go back to your referee's position. Go. No, 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 no. Follow your knee. Complete the hip box. Yes, there you go. Again, don't go to your elbows. Stay on your hands and feet. Again, other side. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step out. Under. Again. Up. Out. Under. Up. Out. Under. Up. Out. Under. Okay, now, most of you are, are spinning too much. Come on. But if, you, if you pay attention to this, the, the reason this makes this skill works is because his hips pretty much stay in the same place. The way most of you are doing it, you're going under and you're rolling. Okay, so my hips went from here all over here. Okay, that, led, that, that destroyed his position, or my position. So if you watch what he's doing, step up, step out. Look where his hips are. Now as he takes his foot under. See his hips didn't roll over the top. He's just turning his hips down. Go. Okay, so now he's in the same position with his weight still on top of it. Okay, does this make sense? So I'm not gonna roll away from you, you're gonna follow me. I have to turn away from you and get my hips turned, then I can square. This is also finishing too. Again, ready, up, out. Now look where he's at, stick the leg underneath. His hips are almost, he's gonna turn his hips all the way before his upper body turns. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, now he squares up. There's no rolling. Okay, do it again, here we go. Ready? Up, flip. Now you wouldn't go away. Again, watch. It's up, up, run, 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 run. Ah, that's Okay, watch. Once we get here and we start to move our feet, we're creating momentum. So I'll take one foot and I'll throw it up. And I'll throw it up and I use momentum and I swing it under. So I, like this. Notice how my knees both hit square. That's what I want. I don't want to land on my side and roll over. 
Okay, then I'm gonna go get my clients and what? Right there, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, here we go, watch it. Watch these guys do it again, do it right, one more time, up, out, flip. Flip, flip, better, okay? Give me a second. Run skill, this is getting a little bit more advanced, but I like it for you guys because it's gonna, it's gonna get you to where you wanna go faster, it's gonna make you more athletic, right? So ideally, just to show you how this would work, if he got to a sit out position, right here. Now, I'm behind him, I'm trying to stay with him, he's gonna run his feet, and that puts me in this position right here, with my shoulder. Okay, and he's gonna turn into the arm, he's gonna flip, go. Ah, and he's out. Okay, so that's a little bit further ahead for most of you, but that's where we can go with this. The hip heist though is a switch and a changeover. So this is the last two skills I'm gonna teach you, the switch and the changeover. So a switch is just a powerful hip heist. So you already know it, believe it or not, you already know it. So get the referee's position, okay? So nothing changes, except off the whistle, we're gonna clear our left arm. We're, we're assuming he's on the left side, clear our left arm. I really love this. I talked about this a little bit earlier. When the guy tells us, kind of gives us a tell on top of what he's gonna do. Like if I get a guy and he's sort of off to this side, and I feel off to this side, that's automatic switch for me. Automatic switch, okay? Because I feel like he's too far over here and it's gonna be hard for him to cover me over here. So he takes that arm across, right there. So do it again. When he does that, it, it sort of shifts my weight this way. Now, he lets that knee fly and he flips. Boom, boom, right there. Okay, go ahead and land on your side. Turn, right there. Yeah, yeah, should be, yeah, on that side. Go back, right there. He should be over my arm, he should be turned to this side now. Okay, right there, that's where he should land. Now he's gonna pull himself into a double leg. Okay, like this, So the motion is like this. He's gonna cross, rotate that knee. Okay, do it with me. And I'm gonna flip. But I flip all the way to my elbow. Okay, and my elbow, don't get too extended. My elbow is landing on the, on the back side of his arm. Okay, so it's, it's, it's gonna make some impact with his arm. I'm gonna grab the, the, the uh, thigh and I pull myself into a double. I pull myself into a double. I'm not really looking to go behind him. Okay, I'm not looking for a reversal like that. I'm looking for to get back to a double because then he might re-switch me, right? So, again, without a partner, do the motion. It's cross, raise up, hard flip, boom. And you should flip all the way to this leg and this elbow should be reaching inside the arm, okay? Now, pull to a double, pull, 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 pull to a double. Okay, so watch him again with the partner. Here, he's gonna switch, go, 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 go. That's the freeze. See, he should even have more lean against me and use his head and shoulders. He should be reaching into the thigh, not even that deep, just right here. Right there, okay? Go, 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 pull, 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 like the freaks. Now from this position, if he stays down in my crotch, I'm gonna grab his legs. So he's immediately taking shoulder high and he's gonna use this bottom arm, he's gonna come off the leg and he's gonna bump me to my back. Pull, pull. Yeah, again. Yeah. Let me see a couple times without a partner, then we'll do with a partner. Let me see like three or four. Okay? I'll go. 